So today we're gonna to be mulching 600 trees or attempting to mulch 600 trees. It's gonna be quite the project. But first, release the Quacken! <laughs> So on our farm, we have a permaculture orchard, which consists of roughly 600 trees and perennial shrubs. They are just growing up. As I've mentioned in other videos before, we put them in uh, about two and a half years ago. They're growing, they're not really producing much, but they do require maintenance. The maintenance I have to do is basically twice a year, I try to apply a layer of mulch to suppress weeds and also repel rodents. In past years, I've tried to take this task on entirely myself and I've pushed myself to the point of burnout before. Grow trees, you said. It was gonna be so easy, you said. That's not good and that's not sustainable and that's not what I wanna do here. So today I'm gonna to have some help. My friend Aubrey and another one of his friends is coming over and we're gonna work as a crew and try to see how many of the trees back here we can actually bang out and mulch. Um, this is gonna take a little time. This is gonna take a little work. Now we might not finish this all today. It's pretty ambitious. Last year when I did the mulching, both in the spring and the fall, it was me working alone doing it over the course of a couple weeks where I do a couple hours here and there, um, several days a week. And we're gonna try the big bang approach and see if that works. Um, I'm wondering if adding more people becomes sort of a force multiplier and we were able to be way more efficient. So we're gonna find out by the end of this video. In case you came here looking for a gosling update, everybody's looking pretty good right now. They're all healthy and happy, getting bigger and bigger. They are just mowing down the green stuff whenever I give it to them, they go nuts. I tried to do a fair amount of hand feeding, just trying to get them more and more comfortable with me and used to me. So right now as you're seeing these goslings, they are Six days old, they're definitely coming into their own. So far, things are going pretty well. We're moving at a good pace. Having multiple people here to do this is really making the work go quickly. And I gotta say, I've got the easiest job here. Isn't that right? That's right. <laughs> The mulch, because it's so deep, as we started to dig into it, at a certain point you notice that some of it's still frozen, which is kind of remarkable. tree gentlemen how do you feel oh good work <laughs> what a relief we're done <laughs> all right we got it all cranked up. 
Nicely done. Yeah, fun. Well, the trees are done. It took us most of the day, but uh, they're all mulched, every single one of them. Uh, we didn't mulch a couple of the dead ones, but that doesn't really matter now, does it? Because they're dead. So now this is the fourth mulching that I've gone through for the trees on the farm. And uh, it's been by far the best. I feel like this is the first time I can actually say I worked smart and not hard. You know, last spring and last fall when I did the mulching, that was weeks and weeks of work. It was me out here several times a week for multiple hours at a time, just going down the rows, doing it all myself, doing it mostly by hand. And it was stupid. I only invested personally about, let's see, so we got out here at about 9.30 in the morning and we finished off at around four o'clock. So that's like what, six and a half hours or something like that? But the big difference maker here was that I had help. I hired my buddy Aubrey as well as uh, his friend Peter and the two of them working with me, we were able to just cruise through this stuff. You know, we got a system down where we each had a role, you know, whether it's driving the mulch, filling the mulch cart, filling the buckets with the mulch, spreading the mulch on the tree, we just got into a rhythm and we were just able to turn that sucker out. It went so quickly, it was not a problem at all. I was so worried that this would be another thing that would just eat up all of my time this spring working on this. And for the price of a couple hundred dollars, I was able to get all of this done. And uh, that's a big difference maker for me. You know, a couple weeks ago on the Goldshaw Farm podcast, I uh, was interviewing Diego Footer of Permaculture Voices, and he made a really good point about being a business person and being a farmer and focusing on working alone. If you have to do it alone, I, I'm not sure many people can survive in the long run alone running a business. It's not that we aren't capable, but at some point it's not going to become fun and you're going to start to hate things and you're going to start to make bad decisions. If you're doing everything, you can only focus on everything. When you hire somebody, I think you'll do a better job at the things you should be doing. They do a great job at what they do. So yeah, I, I would approach a business, a farm business, looking to bring somebody in, especially given the physical demands that go with farming day to day. Ever since he said that on the podcast, it really got me thinking. And, and frankly, it, it, it was what sort of turned my, my brain out a little bit to this idea of, well, why don't I just hire somebody? Really, I guess I guess I had a mental block that it was gonna be super expensive and super wasteful of money. But when I think about all the things I can tackle with the geese and the ducks and working around here and my day job and even just spending a little bit more time with Allison and not burning myself out, that at its core is like, is what a sustainable farm is all about. We finished so much faster than I even thought we would. By working as a group, we were able to just churn and cruise through everything. It was amazing. I was expecting this to at least take it two days. Um, I did not think we'd do it all in one day. We even had enough time to dump two loads of mulch and spread it in Allison's garden. So we'll be ready for next weekend when we're getting ready to plant our vegetables uh, because uh, weather's finally turned to the point where we can actually do that sort of thing. So yeah. Oh, ducks, go to bed! Oh, ducks, go to bed! Let's go, let's go. Oh, ducks, go to bed! Oh, ducks, go to bed! <laughs>